Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. I'm back from my vacation. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 136. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who wants to support me and want to gain access to all of my reads for the month of August and soon September, and not deal with the hassle of the blur and the cat logo and just waiting for everything to come out and just have it all at once. Uh, they're available on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Woo. Okay. The Eastern Empire. Uh, mm. uh good day, your majesty. Uh, uh, hmm. I left it behind in the palace when I departed. You should try and track it down. If what he said is true, I have to find those papers before his majesty does. Walking around is difficult since I'm heavily pregnant. As is going anywhere without being recognized. I must quickly secure an ally or a servant who can find them for me. Huh? Uh, good day, your majesty. Who's this? Um, uh, well, it's Miss Avali. Who's Miss Avali? Who's that? It's rude of her to stay in the carriage when she must have heard you say hello to me. Tell her to come out this instant and say hello to me. Who's this? She looks like she's around Labetti's age. <sighs> she she's the Empress, Miss Abali. You must say hello. Uh, she's not the Empress I know. <gasps> oh, oh, dang! Okay, okay. She has someone to charge her up now. Who is this? The Remarried Empress, episode 136. What? Did you just say? Your... Your Majesty! Um, Miss Avali is His Majesty's guest. His Majesty's guest? <laughs> what kind of guest is she, exactly? Uh, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to disclose. This girl just told me that I'm not the Empress. However, as the Empress consort, I think I have the right to know who she is. That's true, but... Uh... Well, what are you doing, Miss Avali? Apologize to Her Majesty at once. I was simply saying what I know. Miss Avali! Judging by how the Baron scolded her, she doesn't appear to be from a noble family. Who exactly is she? Stop. There are rules you must abide by when you're in the palace, Miss Avali. You must be careful about how you conduct yourself. There was no need to sour your relationship with the Empress as soon as you arrived. Ugh. Ugh. What an arrogant and difficult girl. Even if she was a promising mage in the past, she can't produce any magic right now. She doesn't have any particularly appealing qualities or a good background. So with this attitude, it's only a matter of time before His Majesty washes his hands with her, of her. Miss Avali has arrived, Your Majesty. Send her in. He's never visited me, even once. Why does he want to see me now that the emper uh, that Empress Navier has left? So what if he's the Emperor? That doesn't mean a thing. I thought he looks foolish and ill-tempered. It'd be difficult to hold a conversation if you're standing over there. Huh? Oh. 
Allow me to get straight to the point, Your Majesty. I want to know why you summoned me here. Step, step, up. You haven't been informed? The first person who sought the first person who sought me out told me that you were angry with me because Her Majesty used to sponsor me. The second person I met said that I was to become Your Majesty's second mistress. Which is it? Neither. First of all, I don't hate the Empress. Secondly, even if I did, it would be unreasonable of me to hate you just because she sponsored you. Thirdly, you're too young to be my mistress. Oh, then why? <laughs> One of the scholars studying magic requires an assistant. I was thinking of recommending you. Even though you can no longer wield magic, I understand that you still have quite a sharp mind. Would that work for you? Yes. Then that will be all. Baron Lante will take you to the re residence of a count who will take you in. Well, I hope this isn't out of line, but I have a request. I don't mind if it means I have to do some unpleasant work during my spare time. Please let me stay in the palace. There are a lot of unused rooms here you can use, but you might find that people start creating false rumors about you. That's fine. Hmm. Well, if that's what you want, you can stay in the South Palace. Two days later, outside of the throne room. Two days later. Oh, the baby! And it's the end. Already? If we remember the last episode, we did read uh, Loteshu, which is Rasta's former slave owner, um, got pissed off when Rasta was like screaming at him and was yelling at him because he, you know, of course, uh, Navir's brother took the paperwork that showed that, you know, Rasta was a, you know, a slave and and that she was bought off and stuff like that. And she is paranoid about the world knowing about it. And that her husband knows about it. Um, yeah. So he plot revenge by sending his son. Bring their child. Rasha's baby that she doesn't want to claim uh, to the palace to see her. And of course the baby looks like exactly like Rasha. And it's going to you know ruin her reputation. You know. So... Here comes trouble. Rasta is getting hit by all angles right now. So it's going to be very fun. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Drop some comments on how y'all feel about this episode. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!